Joe, what on earth is this? Why are we wearing some kind of furry mask? Just trust me on this one, Donald. This game is another one that had that funny chicken girl in it. I've been so excited for you guys to get on so that we can play it. Joe, is this just another furry game like the last one? You know how much Donald hated it when you made him look at furries last time? No, guys, I promise this one is different. This one looks really cool. I am pretty sure that you have said that about literally every trash game that you have made us play, Joe. There is absolutely no way that this one is actually going to be different in any way. But look, Donald, just check out how cool and atmospheric this game is. I promise that you are going to love it this time. Fine, Joe. I will give it a try. But I'm going to be picking the next new game that we play for sure. At least then, I will be able to get a break from your trash choices for a day. You have got yourself a deal there, Donald. Oh boy, I cannot wait to get this started. Hey, Henry. William, it's good to hear your voice again. How have you been? It's been a bit stressful, to be honest, but just busy with the new animatronic project. It's going really well, and um, I'm excited to finally open up my own restaurant. Ah, uh, a fellow I businessman. See. I like this guy already. I wonder if I will be able to buy his it's restaurant from really him. Well. Yeah, I've heard. I'm actually a bit jealous, to be honest. I really want my place to be as successful, if not more successful, than Freddy's. I'm sure it will be, William. You've put a lot of work into this. Thanks. I really hope so. That's great to hear. I'm sure it'll be a success, but I wanted to talk with you about something important. Sure. What is it? I've been reading about some incidences at other restaurants where animatronics have been malfunctioning and causing harm to visitors. I want to make sure that our establishments are safe for everyone who comes through our doors. And especially yours, too. I understand your concerns. Rest assured, I'm being extremely careful with the programming and engineering of the animatronics. Safety is my top priority. Guys, I'm not sure that I trust I this guy. You to take your time with For some reason, I feel like he is lying. Rushing things could lead to mistakes. I promise I won't rush anything. I want this restaurant to be just as perfect as you do. But I do need to move quickly if we're going to open in time. I know, but please keep safety in mind. Above all else. I don't want any accidents or injuries to happen. Screw those accidents. If someone I gets hurt, then who cares? The lawsuit is simply the cost of doing properly. business. Is there anything else you wanted to talk about? No, that's all for now. Just keep me updated on the progress of the project. Okay? Will do, Henry. Talk to you soon. Take care, William. What the fuck was that? Why have we started off this game with two minutes of these random businessmen just worrying about accidents? I don't think that I've ever heard someone worry about accidents at all before. Donald, if you've never heard anyone be worried about accidents before, then I think we might have found the root cause for why you are always in some kind Hello of lawsuit. There. I'm Waffle Boogie, the CEO of Fazbear Entertainment. Hello, Waffle Boggy. Guys, Valley you hear that? The, the CEO himself is leaving a message for us. Oh man, I feel so special. Joe, if there is one thing that I can I say with absolute confidence, it is that you are special. Besides, if you want to talk to a CEO, then I am right here. I think I am the CEO of like 15 different companies right now. There are honestly so many that I start to lose count. But none of the companies that you run are fun, Donald. Everything that you run is some boring real estate company or some scam university. Freddy Fazbear's Pizza is so much fun in comparison. I think I heard him say that this is not Freddy Fazbear's Pizza, Joe. I think that this is some kind of low-budget version. But that can only make it more fun, Barack. It can make it all feel more like a mom-and-pop style of restaurant. What the hell are you even talking about, Joe? I fucking hate mom-and-pop restaurants. If a restaurant doesn't have six out of five stars and isn't personally staffed by at least two celebrity chefs, then I will not eat there ever. Or whatever, Donald. I do not care about hearing you brag about how much money you can waste on food again. I'm trying to figure out what it is that we need to be doing right now anyway. It seems like we are some kind of night guard. Well, isn't that brilliant? So you have found us a game where we are going to stare at empty cameras for the next 10 minutes? We should seriously stop letting you pick the games, Joe. Wait, why can I not close the doors anymore? Oh no. Do you guys think that there is something blocking them? Yeah, there is, Joe. 
and in a second, it is going to come out of the darkness and get you. Ah! Don't do that, Donald. You are scaring me. Donald, stop teasing him. If you see something, give him too many scares, and at his age, you might just end up giving him a heart attack. That is what I'm trying to do, Barack. If he gets hospitalized, then we don't have to play his crappy game suggestions anymore. Guys, shut up a second. I want to be able to hear what this guy is saying. Here's what you have to do. When those animatronics start lurking near your office, shut the door and keep them out. Wait, so we're going to have furries trying to break into our office? Oh, dear God. This might just be the scariest horror game that I have ever seen. Guys, I'm not sure if I'll be able to make my way through this one. Donald, you talk so much game, but all it takes is some furries and you're scared? Of course it does, Joe. Even gods have something that they fear. Nah, they ain't shit, Donald. They're kind of like Super Smash Bros. players. All that you gotta do to keep them off you is just spray them with some deodorant. After that, they just melt. Like the Wicked Witch of the West. I'll have to try that out next time I'm near a convention for them, Barack. I'll roll up to the spot absolutely strapped with all of the axe that I could possibly need. I would pay to see that, Donald. That sounds like one hell of a movie, not gonna lie. What the hell are we even supposed to be doing right now anyway? It feels like we have been looking at these same few screens without anything happening for an eternity now. When are we going to see some cool shit happen? Yeah, not gonna lie. This game is starting to get really boring. We've been playing for like 10 minutes already, but basically nothing has happened. Only thing that we have seen is that we're a security guard for some shitty Chuck E. Cheese ripoff restaurant. Oh, shut up, Barack. This is not a shitty knockoff of Chuck E. Cheese. This place is super duper cool. Look, something is going to start happening soon. And when it does, you guys are both going to absolutely love this game. I highly doubt that, Joe. Hell, we are almost at 6 a.m. Isn't that the end of the night or something? Yeah, I think that it is, Donald. Uh, I'm sure that something will happen, Donald. Don't worry. Fat chance, Joe. Well, at least next time we play something new, I will be able to pick what we play. So far, almost every game that you have picked for us has been total dog shit. Oh, come on, Donald. At least this game has a good atmosphere and is kind of spooky, right? Let's try to at least have fun atmospherically, okay? How about you atmospherically suck my balls? This game is trash. Yeah, sorry, Joe. But with the fact that we have gone almost a full 10 minutes without anything happening, I'm going to have to agree with Donald here. This game is boring as hell. Oh, you guys just aren't willing to have fun on this one because there are furries in it. This is why you guys would never be able to accept me. Accept you? Joe, are you a fucking furry? Oh, uh, no. No, Donald, of course not. If I was a furry, then I would never be hanging out with you guys, am I right? L-M-A-O. Nice save, Joe. I am sure that everyone here fully believes you right now. Oh my god, guys, look. It's the rabbit guy. He moved. Wait, what the fuck? Why is he just staring into the camera like that? I do not know, Donald, but it is honestly kind of scaring me. I was hoping that when something would happen, it wouldn't be this scary. Is it just me or does it look like he is breathing? Okay, I gotta admit it, this game is kind of spooky now. You see? I told you that something would happen soon that would change your guys' opinion on this game. Wow, Joe, I'm so impressed. You managed to find a game where a furry stares at me through a camera. I could have found this same thing by just looking up any kind of furry YouTuber. Why on earth would this make me say that this game is cool? Because it is creepy, Donald. Look at the way that he is breathing. Does that not creep you out at all? Yeah, I'm gonna have to side with Joe now, Donald. This game is kind of creepy now. I'm kind of digging it. Okay, fine, I will keep playing. But I am still gonna be picking the next game that we play. Come on, guys, let's hurry up and finish this already. I wanna go home and lie in bed all tucked in and sleep. Plus, this game is way too scary. I don't want anything to do with it anymore. Stop being a wuss and just help me watch this cams right here. If you want to sleep that badly, then why don't you talk to my fist after we win this thing? Shh, chill out, everyone. You both know that it's 5 a.m. already, right? Just a little bit more push and finally we can win this. Ah, shit, that scared the heck out of me. Is it over? Are we done already? Can I go home now and eat my dozen dosage of ice creams and cry myself to sleep because of how horrifying this game is? Yeah, you can. We don't even need you to wake up after anyways, you old fossil. Wait, what? There's more? What the hell are we doing right now? Are we scanning Freddy or something? Holy shit. Hell no. What the hell is going on? Did he bring some contrabands or something? If so, then prepare yourselves to serve a lifetime service in jail, you metalhead. Wow. Was that the only insult you came up with, Freddy Sleepy Joe? 
Ha ha! Too cute. And do you really think you can imprison a robot just because you are the president? Really? Oh, I will surely make it happen. Let's see you try shithead. Oh, wait. I think we're done scanning him. Phew. I thought we would find something bad inside of there. Wait, what? There's more. No more, please. Um, yes, please. Ah, shit, here we go again, and screw you guys for forcing me. Just shut the fuck up and listen. A new location coming. Hey, Henry. Everything's going well. The animatronics are on track, and I'm confident about meeting our opening date. That's good to hear. However, I need to emphasize that safety is our top priority. And if we can't afford any mistakes, pressure to meet the deadline might cause you to rush things. I understand your concern, but rest assured that safety is always my top priority. I know what I'm doing, and I won't take any unnecessary risks. I hope so, but I've been hearing some worries from others that your methods of work could lead to some problems. They're also worried that your recent divorce might affect your judgment. Haha, <laughs> bitch just got dumped, like my Joe. Life has Shut the hell up and listen. My work. As for my methods, they have always worked in the past and will work now. I have everything under control. I see. Just remember that I'm here to support you and the company. If you need any help or advice, don't hesitate to ask. Thank you for your offer, but I've got it covered. I'll keep you updated on the progress. Please do. And keep in mind that safety comes first. We don't want any injuries or accidents. Of course, Henry. Talk to you soon. Take care, William. Henry sounds like a great guy. Yeah, just like me. What the hell do you mean, just like you? No one is gonna act like you. And I sure hell know I don't wanna see them do. Lifetime prison sentence to those that does it. You guys are just jealous. Anyways, listen. Hello, it's Waffle Brody here, and welcome to your second night on the job. You seem to have everything under control, don't you? That's what I like to see, someone who can handle themselves. I'll keep it short and only tell you what is absolutely necessary. The main two animatronics also have a second functionality that'll blow your mind. You can actually wear them like a costume. Now, I know what you're thinking. Waffle, that sounds like the greatest thing ever, but... Hold your horses for a second. These newer models aren't quite perfected yet. They've got a bit of a... Well, let's call it a design flaw. You see, if you're not careful, they could crush your chest, and you'll bleed out until the dawn. Trust me, it's not a pretty picture. We had an incident with one of our employees not too long ago. Poor guy ended up on a hospital bed with his legs crushed. It's tragic, but informative. Now, I'm not saying you shouldn't try it out if you're feeling brave, but just know that if something goes wrong, it's on you. Actually, don't even touch them. We're not taking any responsibility here. So if we find you the next morning dead inside of one of our mascots, don't come crying to us. You were informed, and we are clean. Uh, yeah. True. Anyway, a new mascot was added to the cast recently, and not just any mascot, mind you. This one's special. Made solely by one of the founders himself, Henry Emily. Now, I don't know much about it, but what I do know is that it's been causing some trouble. So much so that we had to lock it up in your office. But don't worry, we've got a prize corner set up there, and it's a win-win situation for all of us, right? Just make sure you keep an eye on that little bugger and put it back in its place if it tries to wander off. We don't want a repeat of that old tale where a puppet crept into a sleeping man's mouth, do we now? But listen, kid, don't worry. We'll get through this, and we always do. Just keep an eye on those animatronics and stay out of trouble. And remember, I'm always here for you. Yeah, I'm gonna go get some shut eye. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Goodbye. Wait, holy shit, come back here, you selfish prick. Why did you have to leave me after telling me all that? I don't want to freaking do this. Fuck, we gotta go through all that again. Stop whining, you scared wuss. If you listen to his instructions, then I am sure that we will be able to beat this stupid family-friendly game you recommended again. I think this is relatively easy, to be honest. Like we can just sit back and relax and watch the entire security camera up until 6 a.m. This will be a breeze, just like how it was on Monday. Oh, no! No, no! Shut the hell up, Barack, and stop trying to jinx us or something. You saying that this will be easy will come around and bite your ass later. 
I mean, I don't think that would be painful for Barack. I mean, just look at him. Checking, and what? What the hell did you just say, Donald? What are you trying to imply right now? I'm checking this corners too. And yeah, what I am trying to say is that it wouldn't be painful for you since you have no ass. Ha ha. Even if you inject that shit, I bet it'll pop out of nowhere. Ha ha. I mean, you are right about that, Donald. I guess that's why he's so confident. Because he knows nothing will be able to bite his ass. Because he got none. Ha ha. Oh yeah? Just you wait till I see you guys again. I'll surely slap you with my ass, you little shits. Anyways, we got tonight too. Just shut up and help me watch the cameras. Woo, spooky. Just look at those creepy robots standing there. How scary would that be if they tried to move their eyes while trying to play dead? Imagining it makes me tingle already. You ain't got no spider sense for you to tingle, dumbass. I bet the feeling of tingling is right up your ass because your shit is about to come out again. Ha ha. Ha ha, you are so funny, Donald. Ha ha, you got me laughing to the point that I want to smack you with my shit wrapped up in a towel to make it more awesome. Shut up, guys. Uh, I think Freddy just fucking moved. Shit, and it still is 2 a.m. Uh-oh, glad I checked this camera or they would have been able to creep up on us. I'll keep an eye on Freddy. Don't worry about that guy, guys. As much as I would hate to keep my eyes on him, I gotta do it for the team. Uh, what the hell did you just say, Sleepy Joe? There is no fucking team here. I think you mean you are doing this for the greatest and coolest person in the world. Big D Trump. Uh, no, you heard me right, shithead. I ain't doing this for you, it's for us. And hell yeah, we just reached 3 a.m., just a little bit more. Keep praying for us, Sleepy Joe. If we even make a small mistake here, then it's goddamn over for us. We gotta literally watch out for all of them. I think God might not listen to Joe since he's the devil himself. Ha ha. And what is there to worry about? You got the five nights at Freddy's King right here with you to help you win. Hey, don't go too far, Donald. And just when did being the king in every game we play a habit of yours, Donald? We all know you can only play Minecraft. Shit, this one just moved. Watch out, everyone, and shut the hell up, Barack. We all know that the only thing you play is Michael's goddamn balls. Ha ha! Oh, shit, let Donald cook, I guess. Anyways, can't we just make the doors stay locked forever? Why do we have to keep them open when we know it's fucking dangerous to do so? Make fun of my wife's name again and I will destroy the shit out of you, Donald. And if only it was that easy, Joe, then this wouldn't be a challenge. Huh? I just don't freaking get it. Why don't we do it and try it ourselves, guys? Since you're goddamn dumb as fuck, I have to explain it to you. It's goddamn because we have limited amount of power, shithead. Ah! I didn't notice him banging on the door. Lock all the doors right now. Ah, that's way too creepy. Get the hell out of here already. This is too much for me. Why don't they connect their lines to an electricity pole nearby or something? This wouldn't be a problem if they did that. He's gone now, guys. Well, technically, yeah. But if you have any complaints, then why don't you go and do it to the person that hired us here? I mean, it would also be partially our fault for working here. Are we that broke? Now take a look at the warning icon and the battery health on the bottom left Sleepy Joe. That's what I meant earlier. Ah! I didn't even get to see what you said, Donald, because I almost shit my pants. Again, due to this scary ass looking robots, I hope they run out of battery or something. Oh shit, I think one of them is gone. What the hell? Crap, here he is, locking this place down. No way would I let him get to me, just a no. Good call, Barack, take that metal head. This is way too scary, to be honest. I hate this game already. I wanna go home and stop this nightmare. This isn't a goddamn fever nightmare, just like in Squidville. Shit's all real, Sleepy Joe. Wake the hell up before the robot wakes your goddamn ass up. Wait, huh? Where? What? What robot? What are we talking about again, Donald? I, uh, I kind of forgot, huh? I was just talking about that robot at the door on the camera right there. He wants to give you a hug. Go give him one. Uh-oh, shit's getting risky, guys. Two of them is already here. Fuck. What do we do now? We're about to lose some power, goddammit. Uh-oh, what was that goddamn sound just now? Why the hell did you open it, Barack? Do you have a death wish or something? Close it. Ah, shit, we can't. I think we're goddamn out of power. Shit, we're about to die right now. Fuck this. Oh, one's already so close, too. We gotta lock this door somehow. Shit. <laughs> ah! That scared the shit out of me. That made me jump out from my goddamn teleprompter. Fuck this game. This is way too scary. And I just pooped my pants. This is the tenth time now. Yeah, I kind of agree. God damn it. We got to manage the power more a bit better next time. What do you mean next time? Fuck this shit. I'm out. 
Make sure to subscribe to our channel, President Multiverse, or I will build a fucking wall around your house as well. Thanks. Donald, are you threatening people again? Shut up or I'm...